Are you so curious about how you can take your storytelling to that next level? We're talking Instagram and or Facebook stories. How can we use it for business? Today, we're gonna give you nine hot strategies, nine tips to help you take your storytelling to the next level. Let's begin by just simply overview of evergreen practices for those of us that really want to crush it on social media. Yeah. So let's talk about it. Step one, we want to attract the leads to us. Then we want to get really diligent about connecting with those leads. True. And then we want to convert the lead if there is a need. So yes. we attract, we connect, we convert if there's a need. Very simple, mm -hmm. right? So now when we talk about the power of storytelling, it's really amazing because people love it. There's something really intimate about just you and that person hanging out. So it's like reality TV plus BFF life equals Instagram dash Facebook stories. And so why is that so huge for business? Because very simply, people do business with people that they know, love, and trust. And therefore, stories give us really that opportunity to fast forward the relationship. These tips are gonna be really helpful, but I also want to say everything is gonna be good in moderation. So we wanna spice it up, we wanna mix it up, we want to bring an element of surprise and then we shall crush. So let's go ahead and dive into the nine different things you can project in your stories. Number one, anything funny. Funny equals money. money. The more fun and joy you bring, I'm telling you, actually, on the plane back home, I was catching up on my reading and I read Russell Brunson's book. And you know, one of the things he talked about, boring will be the kiss of death to your business. Mm. So let us unsubscribe from being so rigid and so like serious, bring a little joy, bring a little laughter, yeah. be childlike. Children laugh on average 400 times a day. Us adults on average 20. It is a very sad, sad thing to hear and to say out loud. So let us step up our game. So be funny, anything funny. What can you share to uplift somebody else on the other end? Number two, behind the scenes. A lot of times what we'll do is we'll do a story right before we go live. And what we've done in the past is we would show like our energy activities, right? Like during the event when I'm like tapping, right? Like there's different things that we do to prepare for kind of like the big unleash for the big event, whether it's live video or presentation or you're speaking on stage or maybe you're doing a little prep, like mm -hmm. you're doing meal prep for the week. Maybe, 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 right? Right. There's like a hundred and one different ways that you can bring behind the scenes into your storytelling. You just have to start thinking like a marketer versus a consumer, right? Yes. A marketer pays attention to everything that's going on. And sometimes we take for granted the little things that we do throughout mm. the day or you know how we live our lives. And we assume that everybody's like us. And that's just not the case. Plus, it's very similar to the concept of why you do live videos. People get to know you, yes, right? They get to have that intimate time with you through your stories and see the things you do throughout the day where for those of us that are like posting addicts, like we want to post all the time on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, Don't you, you can't do that anymore because there's limited That's space come in. in the newsfeed, but on stories you can post all day long if, if your heart desires that. Also, I think anything inspirational. That's number three. Yeah, tip number three. Anything that's like a, um, like a pep talk, give them the pep talk. All right, number four. Yep. Uh, lifestyle, right? Like, let's say you're going on vacation. Let's say you're going to your kid's lacrosse game. Let's say... Um, you're going shopping. You're going shopping or the gym in the middle of the day. Like, when whatever. When people are working. Yeah, like, bring people. And, and some of you might say, well, I don't really have that great of a lifestyle. Well, this is just one of nine tips. But when you do go on vacation, 
take people with you, right? Here's a tip I got from Brendan Bouchard, and he says every single day, you should have something that you're excited about mm -hmm. and you're looking forward to. It so doesn't true. have to be like you're going out to dinner every night or yeah. you're doing fireworks every single day. You're going to the beach all but the time. something yeah. like even as small as, hey, I'm going to treat myself and I'm going to go get myself a Starbucks green tea latte. Yeah. Whatever. Let's or maybe it's movie night, right? Movie you're night. just having a movie yes. at the house. Movie at the house. Anything. Maybe you're making, you know, cookies with the kids. Like, let's have a little fun. Five is family interactions cool. right uh it. maybe you have you know kids pets a crazy parent i don't know but you crazy. know shit yeah cr we all got mm -hmm, you know i'm talking about i don't know if we so, should project so, crazy no share no because it's funny it goes back <laughs> to tip number one so i think it's really great especially those of us that are in network marketing to show people the lifestyle but also show the family time mm -hmm. See, that's kind of goes hand in hand, right? Like lifestyle could be like shopping, going to the beach, going downtown, going out to eat, all that cool stuff. But spending time with your family, honestly, that's what a lot of people want. It's the, the reason they get involved, the big things. yeah, the reason they become an entrepreneur, they want freedom, mm -hmm. right? The freedom to spend time doing the things they want to do with the people they want to do it with. Yeah. For those of us that maybe have those people in our family that are not very supportive about the business, it's maybe because they don't feel included That's in our day-to-day -day operation. They so, feel excluded. Excluded. And you know what they say about X? Like an X or... You know, so bring them into the circle of love. All you right? never know with Nadia. Bring them into the circle of love. You know what love. they say about X. Chop, chop. <laughs> all right, number six. Let's talk about it. Okay, number six is kind of similar to number three, where but instead of like a pep talk or a motivational conversation, you're doing straight up business tips. Cool. So technically, we could have done this content on our Instagram stories. Number I joke there. seven. Okay. A number good seven. story. All right. Right? Like telling people an experience that you had or are having, right? Telling a story. For me, I quit drinking a little over 10 years ago. I just had my 10 year anniversary of, of not drinking. And, you know, I could tell that story, right? Like, you know, it could be a personal story, an intimate story. It could be uh, something that just happened at work that was yeah. like a lesson you learned, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. The bottom line is, again, it's value, it's value, it's value. It's all about the person watching. Yeah. Give to give. <gasps> Please talk about that. Now, could you give to get? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if your mindset is, I'm going to do a live video to get leads. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a live video to make money. I'm going to do a story so that people reach out to me so that I can create curiosity. And all you're ever doing is pitching, selling, pitching, selling. That's why you're struggling. Mm -hmm. You gotta give to give. Sometimes you may wanna monetize and capitalize on the audience you've built, but it can't be all the time. In fact, it yes. should be most of the time you're giving to help. You're giving to provide value. If people are thanking you every day because of your videos, your posts, uh, your stories on Facebook or Instagram, you are on the right path. Amen. Number eight, let us scooch over to productivity dash organization dash you know what is it that you're really good at small things i'll give you an example so today i did a little story if you're not following me oh my gosh you should go check it out on instagram so i did a really quick tip for how i double task my mm. gratitude journal with the gratitude rock and i showed it and i kind of talked a little bit within within two clips i talked about why i do those things and how it's so powerful so how can you teach little things all right so so the last Last one is you talking about why you do what you do. Okay. You do it nonchalantly, just like we talk about with the, the 10 for one, right? 10 Everything lifestyle. in moderation. Four, four nonchalant moderation. and then one direct. You can actually see who is yeah. watching your stories, which for us entrepreneurs, for Huge. those of us that do proactive prospecting, this and they is don't always really know, powerful. Yes. And don't tell them, hey, I know you're watching. Yeah, because yeah. Then Some they people don't know you can see that. watching. Yeah. So don't be, you know upfront about it, right? Yes. But just put it in the back of your mind. Okay, like this person is watching me, that's kind of cool. And then if you can do the open-ended questions or some kind of polls that encourages people to interact with you, I love that it goes into your messenger. And then you can begin conversating. Yes, Remember, that's your how you job build with social media is to show up, to give, to give, give without an agenda, right? But nonchalantly, you're gonna talk about your business without saying the name. You're gonna mention the fact 
fact that you're that anything. you're doing the, that you have this awesome product without saying the name, yeah. right? Because you're not looking to generate leads for Google, you're yeah. generating leads for you. And, and, so every once in a while yes. you have that strategy, but all the whilst your goal is to get people reaching out to you, your best lifers, yeah. your best prospects, so then yeah. you can connect to determine whether or not there's a need for your yeah. product, your business, or whatever. And even if you have no conversation about your business or product, there's still that one-to-one -one engagement, mm -hmm. that interaction, that now they look at you differently because yeah. they've actually had a conversation with you. Step it up, mess it up. So on that note, you guys, we love you. Thank you so much for being here. If you got value, can we just say drop one of these? We'd love to see your love. And if there's any other topics that you go, man, I got this question. What do I do? Feel free to ask it below. And that might be a very next broadcast for you. So love you guys. For more trainings just like this, check out our website, mylifestyleacademy.com. And we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.